Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the absolute value and solving absolute value linear equations. The absolute value of a number shows how far this number is from zero. For example, I have two numbers, integer numbers, positive one and negative one. I know that positive one is one unit above zero and negative one is also one unit under zero. That means that both of them are one unit away from zero. It doesn't matter whether the location of this one is on the right of zero or on the left of zero, but the distance is the same. We don't have a negative distance in our life. You cannot say, I can't go to that mall because the distance between my house and that mall is like negative three kilometers. So there is nothing called a negative distance. So since the absolute value represents the distance, that means it's always positive. So from today on, the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. That means how far is the number negative 5 from 0? The answer is 5 units. The absolute value of 10 is 10. So the absolute value inwards changes all the negative signs into positive inside it and the positive signs will stay positive. So you cannot say the absolute value of three is negative three. Don't please memorize it like that, that it changes everything, no. It just takes the negative away. For example, if I have the absolute value of negative 100 is positive 100. The absolute value of positive 100 is also positive 100. So the answer is always positive. So if you look at this, you will see that the number negative three is three units to the left of zero. So that means the location of it is negative three, but it's three units away. So that means the absolute value of negative three is a three. So the symbol of the absolute value is like two vertical lines longer than the number one. So the teacher will not be confused if you write it. So the absolute value of negative three is three. The absolute value of zero is zero because how far is zero away from zero, which is zero, nothing. The absolute value of 5 is 5. So as you notice, all the answers are positive. Now, so if I ask you about the number or numbers that is or are 4 units away from 0, you will say negative 4 and positive 4. If I say, what are the numbers that are like 5 units away from 0? You can say either the one on the right, which is positive 5, or the one on the left, which is negative 5. So, now if I give you the answer, and I want you to guess the number, which is x. So now we will go for solving linear equations, including absolute value. So the absolute value of x is 4. I'm asking you here to solve it. That means to find the number that its absolute value is 4. So you have two choices. Either you say either x is 4 or you say x is negative 4. So either x is 4 or x is negative 4. Here there are two solutions. So if the number up after equal is positive, you will have definitely two solutions. So absolute value of x is positive something. That means either that number inside the absolute value was negative or it was positive. So you have to give me two choices. If I ask you the a number or numbers that the absolute value of them is zero, there is only zero. So the absolute value of x is zero. That means there is nothing called either or here because there's only one number which is zero. We don't have zero positive and zero negative. So here there is only one solution. Now, what if I ask you about the number that its absolute value is negative nine? Is there any number that if you put it inside the absolute value and it gives you a number, a negative number? I don't think so. So here you will say there is no number that has a negative distance from zero, right? Even negative one, the distance between negative one and one is positive one. That means there is only one unit. I know that the number negative one is one unit to the left, but the fact that it's to the left or to the right doesn't matter here. I'm asking you how far it is. So you just say one. So here there is nothing or no, no, there are no numbers that the absolute value of them is negative. So when I say solve the equation, for example, absolute value of X is negative nine. 
you just say there is no solution or there are no solutions here so now as a summary if the absolute value of a number is negative you just say no solution if the absolute value of a number is zero you just say inside absolute value equals to zero it's not always x it might be you know 3x plus 5 you just say 3x plus 5 equals to zero if the absolute value of a number equals positive you just say either inside the absolute value equals to positive or equals to negative it depends on the number here so either you say 4 or negative 4 for example so either it has two solutions one solution or no solution you need to be careful it depends on the number here after equal so here's the rule if i say the absolute value of x equals to a a here is a number so either you say either x equals a or x equals negative a so you give me both uh, cases here a is positive remember here a is positive let's say absolute value of x equals 15 so you say either x is 15 or x is negative 15 if a is negative here like absolute value of x equals to negative 7 you don't need to do all of that just say no solution if if a is zero here so you have absolute value of x equals to zero just say what's inside the absolute value equals to zero so there is no either or here again it depends on the number after the absolute value let's start with this example solve the linear equation that is including the absolute value the absolute value of 7x minus 3 equals to 4 you just start saying either what's inside the absolute value was negative negative 4 or it was positive 4 so these were 4 so the absolute value of 4 is 4 so either 7x minus 3 equals to 4 then move negative 3 to the other side it will be positive so here i have 7 so divided both sides by 7 so x equals to 1 or 7x minus 3 equals to negative 4 move negative 3 to the other side it will be negative 4 plus 3 which is negative 1 7x equals negative 1 divide both sides by 7 so x equals negative 1 over 7 so the solutions can be written like this in this braces negative 1 over 7 and 1 as you notice here i discussed both cases either what is inside the absolute value all of them the group 7x minus 3 either all of them were negative 4 then the absolute value made them 4 or they were 4 then the absolute value kept it 4 that's why you need to discuss both cases example 2 solve the linear equation including the absolute value 7x minus 3 inside the absolute value equals to negative can you imagine that an absolute value makes something negative no so you just say impossible or you just say which is more appropriate no solution or no solutions now example 3 is confusing a little bit but you need to be careful there is a negative sign before the absolute value and after equal there is negative don't just do it fast and say no solution because the answer is negative here don't do that remember there is a negative sign before the absolute value so i can uh, get rid of it by dividing both sides by negative one So now, negative absolute value Now, absolute value divided by negative 1 This negative before the absolute value divided by negative 1 So it will be positive So now I got rid of negative And negative 4 divided by negative 1 is 4 So now I have two solutions So see, you need to divide both sides by negative 1 Here to get rid of the negative before the absolute value because when i taught you the absolute value lesson there wasn't any negative before it right so you need to get rid of it so now here i have 7x minus 3 equals to 4 even either 7x minus 3 equals to 4 or 7x minus 3 equals to negative 4 when you solve them you will get the same as the last question now example 4 what about this it's mixed right 
I have negative 4 times the absolute value of 7x minus 3. So this is times. Plus 5 equals to negative 3. Don't just be fast and say it's impossible. Wait. First of all, you need to isolate the absolute value. So please isolate it. How? First of all, get rid of 5. It shouldn't be next to it. It should be on the other side. So move 5 to the other side. It will be negative. So negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. So now I got this. Again, now the absolute value is not isolated. It's not alone. It's multiplied by negative 4. And I need to get rid of this negative 4. No, now I need to divide both sides by negative 4. Because it shouldn't be like that. The absolute value shouldn't be multiplied by anything. You need to divide by it to isolate the absolute value. So here, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So I still have the absolute value alone. It's isolated. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. So now I can say there are two solutions. Either 7x minus 3 equals 2, or 7x minus 3 equals to negative 2. Then finish it as you know. You will have two answers. x equals 5 over 7, and x equals 1 over 7. Please write the solutions like that. Solutions are 1 over 7, comma, 5 over 7 between braces. This braces means a set, which is the group of the solutions. So don't put any parenthesis or square bracket. Just put braces, because braces in math mean sets. So this is a set of the solution, the group of the solution. Okay? So it's your turn now.